Hey, good day everybody. Welcome back to one of my videos. Today is gonna to be part one of a series that I'm gonna call uh, lightsaber build from start to finish. And what I'm in the process of doing is gathering some parts so that I can build a Roman Props MK1 Ben Kenobi lightsaber from Star Wars. Now I've had this lightsaber in my collection before, but sold it because actually it's somebody else build it for me. And it's the only lightsaber in my collection that I hadn't built uh, myself. So what I did was I sold the one I had and took the finances from that sell, sale and uh, started buying uh, parts so I could build my own. Um, it's gonna be a fun build, it's gonna be really exciting. Uh, and the first part just came in today. Um, I wanted to show it to you pretty much right away. I just got finished mowing my lawn, so I'm a little sweaty today, but the mail, the mail person came and we got this in. Now what this is, is this is a, um, gentleman by the name of uh, Rudy Villapando creates um, some really great stuff. And one of the things that he creates is a crystal chamber for lightsabers. And it's completely his design. And uh, this is that crystal chamber. And I'm going to unbox it to you and show you what it looks like. It's completely machined. Uh, it's really, really nice. I've bought a few of these um, over the years. Um, and uh, let's take a peek at what it looks like. He's done a couple versions of these, um, so I'm not really too sure what version I got, but let's take a peek. Okay, cool, so it's his latest version. So there it is. Now this is actually gonna be inside the lightsaber itself. And uh, this comes in a bunch of different pieces. This cage piece right here will house uh, a speaker, 28 millimeter speaker right up in here. And then in here will be an 18650 lithium ion uh, battery that'll hook up to a, a, a 3D printed chassis that'll hold the soundboard and some switches. And then this guy up here, I have ordered some custom parts to go in here. Uh, this is a, a fake plastic, uh, crystal here. I have a, a legit, uh, uh, um, a real quartz crystal that'll fit up in here. And I've ordered some new end pieces that will replace the little brass pieces in here. These pieces here and here slide out. And I've ordered some really nice custom pieces uh, and a fin that will go on these rails here. Now what's interesting about this is these two rails here are actually hollow and they um, are there for the wiring that'll be used. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run uh, some wires so that I can put a single neopixel here and a single neopixel here and it'll light the crystal uh, when the lightsaber is running. What's really cool about this piece though is you can actually open your lightsaber um, with this piece and uh, with this piece in it while it's running which is really kind of neat. So as the lightsaber is up and running you will be able to open it. Um, for example, this piece here slides up and this will actually um, attach to the top portion of the lightsaber. This will attach to the clamp in the bottom portion of the lightsaber. And when you move this, um, it will open and close uh, the top part of the lightsaber. It's really kind of cool. Uh, and in one of my other videos that I'm going to be doing here shortly, I'm going to show you, uh, I do a walkthrough of each one of my lightsabers that I've built to this point and my Luke Skywalker uh, Return of the Jedi V2 um, uses this very similar setup. So I um, can't wait to show you that. And uh, I've ordered the hilt. So the hilt that this goes in will be here within the next couple of weeks. I've ordered a lot of the electronics for the inside of this. Um, a lot of those parts will come tomorrow. And uh, I've also ordered um, uh, the 3D uh, printed chassis that will fit in here and the 3D printed uh, natural bronze pieces that will fit uh, here in the crystal chamber. Those will probably be here the first week of October. So we've got uh, you know, about a month or so until those come in. Uh, when everything comes in, I'll keep showing you what, what it is that, uh, that arrives and what it's for. And then once we get everything and we can start to build, we'll, uh, I'll uh, take you through the um, the build process from beginning to end. It'll be great. It'll show you how to wire uh, the Neo pixels, how to wire the speaker that sits up here, how to wire the switches, 
really everything from start to finish and it's going to be a whole lot of fun it's going to take a while i'll do this in, in a, quite a few different parts but um i think you'll find it interesting and if not um that's okay too um i enjoy doing these videos and uh as you can see, I've got a lot of different hobbies. Uh, lightsaber building is one of them, and I uh, really can't wait to, to get going um, on this build. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. And a little bit of a challenge too. I've done one very similar to this build before, so I kind of know what to expect and what I'm in for. But still, you just never know when you build what's gonna happen, and, and a lot of things you know can and usually do go wrong while you're building. So I think the key is to not freak out too much, to, uh, to do the best you can, take your time, and everything will uh, eventually work its way out and it'll be a great product when it's done, you'll see. Um, the hilt that I ordered was a Roman Props MK1, a weathered version with a chrome sink knob at the bottom. Um, you'll see that when that comes in. Um, I really like the weathered version of the, the MK1, the uh, Ben Kenobi lightsaber from Star Wars. Uh, it is probably my favorite lightsaber of all the lightsabers that'll show you here over the next few weeks. Um, it's just very classic and really cool and you don't see it very often in the first Star Wars movie very You don't see many pictures of it. It's very brief um, but Roman uh, props has gone through a lot of really cool things to uh, To uh, to get it accurate. So stay tuned. We got more on the way